Glad I wasn't here for this. Hugganay? You just got here? <laughs> what I miss. You know damn well what you missed. <laughs> You're not wrong. And you did this by lifting 25 boxes at once? 25 heavy boxes. <laughs> what you are experiencing is mild to moderate lumbar sprain, or as it's more commonly known, lifting 25 heavy boxes at once. Hey, aging Dr. Katsugawa, your coffee has arrived, along with a fresh order of hot stub muff. Shut up. Did you think that one up on your hallway here? I did. Pretty proud of it, too. Panned out better than the one where I spilled coffee on my junk. Oh? You'll have to try that one next time. Should I, uh... Go back to work? You're not fit to go back in the warehouse. He's not? <sighs> in your condition, you're going to need to limit any and all heavy lifting for at least 48 hours. I know the Tatsugumi ink rapidly increases your vitality, but if you want to go on Kusari's little trip, you need to take it easy. It's not as though he would have gone back to the warehouse, but this presents a small issue. We're hosting Itsumo tomorrow, so he'd be on his feet all day regardless. Out of the question. But, sir... You heard me. I... You want this job? You better put in the hours. Y yes sir I... I'm sorry, Mr. Sasaki. My other job needs me. Oh, not you, too. I really wish I could stay to help, but the construction company's apparently been called to take care of Hakasagi, ah, and I... Oh, wait, I've got an idea. Kashin, before you leave, could you give Senjo a crash course at cold calling? What? You know, telemarketing. For Senjo. What?! この番組はルークリージクとグランのスパンツの提供でお送りします。オーバーデアラマキ。ファルト。this. Come on, Kashin. You can do it. Uh! Oh, a good morning, Kashin. M Mr. Sasaki. Uh, hi. Can I help you? Uh, oh, yeah, right. I found this yesterday at the address Mitsuki was delivering to. You know, the one where he met that Oni? I thought... I don't know. It just seemed like something the lab could research. That's very... perceptive of you. I'll make sure this is given to the proper department. Thank you, Kashin. N no sweat. Morning, Kashin. <laughs> Mayumi, you're here early. Mm, nope. I'm here on time. Oh, oh. Right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Guess I'm still waking up. Oh. In that case, maybe you should make some coffee. Good idea. Ah, shit. Even after yesterday, we're not canceling the party? That's just what we need. Make it a strong pot. Arashi's going to need it. With our newest Ayakashi disaster insurance policies, you won't ever have to worry about breaking the bank again. Our customer service line is open 24 hours a day to help you rest easy knowing that the only theft you're at risk of is a visit from a late night Baku. Take it from me, Soken Kusanagi. When you're with Itsumo Financial, you're with family. Mm -hmm. Who made the coffee? Kashin. <sighs> then it'll be good. <laughs> Morning. Mm. We high school, we were all ninja, and we had to stop a train robbery with the help of a talking bird. What do railroads have to do with ninja? Who made coffee? Kashin. That's a relief. Oh my god. Rough morning. We played I Spy. Was it the Vespa? It's always the Vespa. <laughs> Hatsuki running late today? He hasn't gotten in yet, so I guess Hagane's giving him a ride. Morning, Senjo. Senjo's office rules. Number one, don't smile at me. Number two, unless there's blood involved, don't talk to me. Well... <laughs> Addendum to rule two. Just don't talk to me. Good morning! Good morning. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Masaru, 
You won't believe this dream I had last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You and Senjo hated each other, and you had these weird names. I mean, what kind of name is Matthias for a ninja? <laughs> I do not know what you're talking about. See? Right on time. I know. It's a goddamn miracle. <laughs> you're lucky this isn't the bar. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Right. On to business, then. I'm sure you all remember how important today is, especially now, considering our situation. <sighs> we are hosting an event for our investors at Itsumo. If we expect to get our ground floor up and running again, it is of the utmost importance that we are on our best behavior today. With that in mind, Senjo, you'll only be working in the office on calls today. Whatever. And if you manage to meet our sales goal for the day, I will personally sponsor an office pizza party. Wait, seriously? Just stay busy. You got it. <sighs> Kaze, uh, nothing will have changed from your normal duties. Uh, greet everyone and direct them into the Arboretum. You got it! Kashin, I'm assigning you to assist in the kitchen with Kay. Understood. And Mayumi, I'm putting you in charge of waitstaff. Roger that. The rest of you will be working the floor as servers. <laughs> Zerio! Oh, when did you get here? I've been here all morning. Oh, uh, right. And Zerio, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm. All right. If there are no questions, please change into your uniforms. Our guests should be arriving within the hour. Uh, shame I'm at work. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to show it to you. <laughs> Here's his number. Masaru, could you bring out the extra tables? <laughs> sure thing, Mayumi. Oops. You okay there? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Don't sweat it. I'll take this tray back for you, okay? Try not to get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'm heading back to check on Kay. Can you keep an eye on Arashi for me while I'm gone? Yeah, sure, I'll do just that. <sighs> You're such a good friend. Ooh. Yeah. See, you can do it too. How's he doing? Hasn't killed anyone yet. I guess that's all we can ask for. Is Mr. Kusanagi really going to be here today? No idea. He hasn't shown up yet, if he is. Let's just hold out hope that that bastard thinks he's too good to show up then. Waiter, this glass is filthy. My apologies. I didn't ask for apologies. Replace it. At once. What? I don't see any blood, so I guess nothing. Oh, you're very funny. I know. Where are the glasses? Let me get some new ones. Why don't you take a break? I'm about to head back on the floor. I, can... I don't need a break. I guess you are breaking enough already. <sighs> don't push him, Mayumi. Hey, Shorty. What middle school they pick you up from? Didn't know Kokai employed brats. Ugh. Hey, here's an idea. You should come and work for us. Oh, yeah, definitely a better gig with us. After all, you're the perfect height for a footstool. <laughs> Douchebags, you want to have a go? No, no, Mitsuki, it's it's fine. We're just having some fun. Yeah, sure looked like some fun. So what's the harm in me joining in? No one invited you. Yeah, well, I didn't throw the first punch. <laughs> Mr. Sasaki, that guy just tried to punch me. No, I do believe he was trying to punch me. Whatever. What did I say about best behavior? You saw what they did. <sighs> I know. Tatsuki, to better avoid situations like this, could you please assist in the kitchen? Uh, perhaps you can wash dishes faster than Arashi breaks them. Yes, sir. Mitsuki, just... don't cause any more trouble. Oh. Yeah, sure. Mm. Ah, Kusari. So Maybe he's got the right idea. Hey! <laughs> Good afternoon, Sasaki. You're a little late, don't you think? The host is never late. We need to talk. I'm listening. Kashin found this at the address you had Mitsuki delivering to yesterday. You do know what this is, don't you? An ancient artifact that hasn't been in legal production for centuries. Why does this trouble you? You see no reason to be concerned. Hakasabi's proximity to the overgrowth and the Yakuza's territory is bound to be riddled with such affairs. But isn't it just a little odd that it was found in the very house that Mitsuki's delivery was addressed? 
Are you denying the possibility of coincidence, Sasaki? I just find it a bit suspicious that the order you processed with Minami as your advisor was a place that coincidentally hid an oni lure. That's all. I see. <sighs> I often do not give you enough credit for how perceptive you are, my friend. You're right. I did know that the Ayakashi in Hakasabi was more dangerous than what I had submitted. Minami foresaw the damage it would cause, and we arranged the package to be sent to Hakasabi, knowing that Mitsuki would inevitably bring it to the tower. Shoo! It was a test, Sasaki, and they passed. Without any of their resources, more than half of the apprentices responded to the situation with urgency and responsibility. <laughs> you said it yourself. Sending these inexperienced young men and women into the overgrowth is unbelievably dangerous. We needed to gauge their abilities in order to determine who was prepared for our assessment. Regardless, the lengths to which you have gone are outrageous. This was the path laid before us in the stars. The stars do not dictate our moves, Kusari. Only the consequences. We are responsible for our actions. Hmm. Mr. Kusanagi, <laughs> welcome! Uh, hey, dude, uh, mind switching trays with me? What? Why? I'm a bit busy with some guests, and I don't want to go back to the kitchen and interrupt what I've got going on. <sighs> well, well, Arashi, is that you? It is! Come, come! Let me get a good look at you. It's been an age since we last spoke. <laughs> You've grown tall. Looking more like your brother, I see. <laughs> a compliment, boy. It's a compliment. You. Excuse me, Mr. Kusanagi. So sorry to interrupt, but we need a little extra help in the kitchen. It turns out our prep cook is allergic to shellfish. <laughs> How unfortunate. Go on, boy. Do your job. We'll catch up again soon enough. I'm certain. <sighs> I don't hey. need your coddling! I'm not trying to coddle you. I'm doing this because I'm your friend. Since when? Arashi. I'm going back to work. Was it even a good idea for Mr. Sasaki to put him out on the floor? I mean, he knows, right? Well, what's the safer bet? Out on the floor where all eyes are on him, or in the kitchen with sharp objects and their food? Uh, point taken. What's crawled up his ass today, anyway? You never heard about Itsumo? No. Itsumo was once a shared company between the Kusanagi family and the Murakumo. Wait, so... Arashi is... Arashi's parents were caught embezzling from the company, and that's why they lost their stake in it. Rumor has it. Soken framed them, though. It's no rumor. That's the kind of person he is. The Murakumo didn't just lose their company. They lost their family. Arashi's parents killed themselves. And the police took their suicide as a confession to the crimes. There was never an investigation. And Arashi was left to live on the streets with his brother. And his brother? The outskirts are a dangerous place. He's incredible. This is my first time. I'm so wow. I would like to thank all of you for coming out today and joining us in celebration for the fifth anniversary of the Kokai Tower, which is all due in part thanks to Itsumo's trust and contribution. Your continued investment in Kokai's future has protected numerous lives in our great city, and I, for one, am grateful for the security our partnership provides. And, of course, another partnership I am always so grateful for is that of Kokai's very own Vice President. Yosuke Sasaki, who is ever diligent in keeping both Kokai and myself on the right path. <laughs> As we all know, the Utsubasa name was not always the beacon of pride I have worked so hard to light. I begrudge no one who failed to have the faith Itsumo has had in Kokai knowing that it would be the business venture of Yato... You gentlemen remember Sabuke, don't you? Believe it or not, this boy's his son! He's got a lot in common with our Kasari. <laughs> 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 Pay close attention to him, Arashi. 
And I bet you'll make something of yourself. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. I hate these people. What do you mean, these people? Aren't you one of them? I am not one of them. <laughs> then why do you act like that? I am nothing like these fucking windbags. Don't you ever compare me to them! And you! Don't you dare associate yourself with me! As if I don't know what you are! I hate all of you! Thinking to yourself, nothing can ever go wrong! And if it does, a lot of cash will just make it all go away! Well, guess what? Money can't bring back the dead. And I just cannot wait to see that precious little soap bubble world of yours pop! Boy... My deepest apologies, President Kusanagi, for allowing my staff to speak out of turn. My... apologies. <laughs> At least he's learned his place. I expect better of your company next time, Kasari. Of course. You have my word. <laughs> Give it time. Your day will come. <laughs> Hey, Mitsuki, wanna go to the bar tonight? My treat. Hell yeah, man. Datsuki, you in? Uh, I mean... Come on, dude. Sure, I guess. Sweet. What about you, Zay? What am I agreeing to? Dinner, my treat. I suppose if you're paying. All right. If you're having a boy's night, pay is all in. Kaze, you can't just sign me up for social events without an invitation. Well, I never said it was boys only. You can come too. Don't encourage her. We'll be there. If that's the case, do I get an invite? <laughs> well, I mean, I was going to invite everyone but you. But if you're going to keep looking at me with those eyes. <laughs> hey, dude. Taking everyone out to dinner tonight. Want to join in? Uh, uh, well, I... Mayumi's gonna be there. I, I actually can't. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. You got that second job. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, man, I'm sorry. I tried. Your efforts were valiant. Let me cut to the chase. Today sucked, and I want to make it up to you. I'm buying everyone dinner and drinks tonight. Want to join in? I don't need your charity. This ain't charity, bro. I'm doing this because you guys are my friends. I don't have any friends here. <sighs> At least let me take out your trash! No! He's mad. No shit. See ya. Have fun without me. Later. Hi, Hi, peace. See you later. Don't work too hard. Be safe. See you again soon, Arashi. <laughs> Good night. Here's to us! Come by! <laughs> bon appetit. So, what have you been working on lately? Oh, uh, well, I, uh... I actually found an old motorbike. But real talk, how'd they get it all to fit? With a little bit of lube and oh, thank a you. lot. I appreciate the offer, but I'd rather stick to my Gotta myself. check out this new game I bought. I swear you'd love it. Yeah, well, it doesn't really sound like my kind of thing. There you go. Senjo, I didn't realize you were still here. Yeah, I'm waiting on a friend. I see. Something wrong? Oh, uh, no. I was just... Uh, you wouldn't happen to have another, would you? You smoke? Not usually, no. Um, here. Thank you. Sure. <sighs> Doubled the sales goal today, by the way. You better keep up your end of the bargain. Huh? <laughs> I suppose I must. <laughs>